The ongoing construction at Durban Deep next to the Saul Plyke Township Road Board west of Johannesburg. The construction is taking place in Durban Deep, an old deserted mining town now hijacked by illegal miners or Zamazamas. To improve the area and better the living conditions of the community, government started a massive housing project that is now the subject of much controversy. They have a tendency of treating us as aliens in our dwelling place. The, the project is exactly in our place. As, I, as I'm talking to you now, that project we have reported it to the owner of the land who is by it at phase four. We are dealing with this in a very high position because they are not going to do what they like in our area. The mega housing project also aims to help alleviate the housing backlog in Gauteng and ensure economic opportunities for the community. But the community alleged that a construction mafia is blocking them from participating in the project. There's 10 guys here in, in, in our community. They are uh, members of the ANC. So they control everything. They want to control us. They want to control everything. But we don't co recognize them as our leaders. They go they, uh, in the mega project. They call them. Uh, uh, they call themselves uh, our leaders. But we de we never uh, appointed them. We never recognize them. So uh, that's why we, we are. We, we don't uh, actually. We don't. We, we demand them to to be removed today immediately. The construction is managed by Blueprint Constructions and started in 2016. Next to it lies the Saul Plagi Township, crippled by high levels of unemployment, especially under the youth. Here in Saul Plagi, we have a lot of problems regarding EU DLF, regarding Mr. Benz, because if ever like, you, you can try and do how we are SIT. The mega project didn't come to the community and we don't know how much is the product, uh, project value. We don't know anything about it. They don't come to us and report how, how far they are with the project. When we go and ask them there, we got arrested. Why are we not in, in getting employed? How are, we, are, you, are you employing people because they are uh, foreigners employed here, but our youth are, are sitting down here doing nothing. The Gauteng MEC for Human Settlements confirmed that the province is aware of the grievances by the community and will prioritize them. These projects uh, must benefit uh, all South Africans, irrespective of their uh, affiliation uh, or connections. And therefore, if there are concerns that are being raised, we are definitely um looking into those Maile also says that they are aware of a construction mafia that's operational in Gauteng using violent means to extort large sums of money from construction companies but could not confirm if they are indeed active at Durban Deep to the bottom of the matter I will be dispersing dispatching a team later this week to meet with those uh, community members who have got concerns but we also want to urge uh, community members who have knowledge of corruption or uh, information that can help us to get to the bottom of this to come to the fore so that we are able to deal with these issues decisively in a systematic uh, and consistent manner we will certainly uh, certainly conduct an audit uh, to check uh, who are the subcontractors, how have they been appointed, who are the uh, laborers, how have they been uh, appointed, because there is government money involved there. Though it's not government that find, uh, I mean, uh, that uh, hires those people, we have an agreement with the developer. Meanwhile, also confirmed that the project is not delayed. Over 13,000 structures have been approved at a cost of over 450 million rand. The project is expected to be complete by 2026. About 150 Saul Plagi community members have already been approved for the new family units. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News, in Durban Deep.